call this hearing to start this Congress because uh, it is uh, Indian country that we must engage when evaluating federal Indian policy and legislation. As chairman, I'm committed to following in the footsteps of my predecessors, three of whom still serve on this committee, Senators McCain, Senator Cantwell, and uh, Vice Chairman Tester. They were part of a long line of great chairmen who are committed to improving the lives of Indian people. They're the two tribes in my home state of Wyoming, the Eastern Shoshone Tribe and the Northern Arapaho Tribe. They share the goals of other tribes, safe communities, good health, a prosperous life for their families, including good jobs. These goals are often stymied by federal bureaucracy. The federal government has important responsibilities to Indian tribes and people. That responsibility should not create a confusing or complex web of rules which limit the prosperity of tribes and their members. Last week, I had the privilege to provide the congressional response to the National Congress of American Indians uh, State of Indian Nations Address. One resounding theme of that address was to find innovative solutions and reduce bureaucracy. We've already started down that path. Last week, Senator Tester and I introduced the Indian Tribal Energy Development and Self-Determination Act Amendments of 2015. Tribes have the potential to contribute to our nation's energy security. This bill will tap into that potential. This legislation will cut the bureaucratic red tape and let tribes develop their energy resources, putting their destiny back into their hands and not into the federal government. Today, I've also introduced the Department of Interior Tribal Self-Governance Act of 2015. This bill has been around in some form or another since at least the 108th Congress. It's intended to improve the process for negotiating, reviewing, and approving tribal compacts with the Bureau of Indian Affairs. These compacts are key mechanisms for tribal administration of Indian programs. This bill would reduce federal bureaucracy and promote local control and accountability. Significant work on these measures has been done over the years. I urge this committee and Indian country to join me in getting these measures signed into law this year. I intend to continue advancing legislation and oversight that serves similar purposes and improve the lives of Indian people. As chairman, my top priorities are jobs, energy and natural resource development, health care, education, juvenile justice, and tribal self-governance. The more progress we can make on these issues, the more progress we can make in helping families. I cannot do that without the bipartisan work of this committee and the vice chairman in particular. So I want to reiterate my appreciation for Senator Tester's leadership and the collaborative spirit that he continues to bring to this committee. I'd now like to ask uh, Vice Chairman Tester if he has an opening statement. Uh, I will make it very, very brief, uh, Mr. Chairman, because I understand we have some votes coming right up and I want to hear from these folks. But I just want to just very briefly just tell you that congratulations on your chairmanship. I look forward to working with you and everybody else on this committee to move Indian country forward. There are a number of issues, some of which we'll hear today. Uh, but I always think about the first time I met with the large land-based tribes, and I said, what are your priorities? And after about three minutes, I said, we're going to have to prioritize, okay, because there was just too many of them. So uh, I think this has been a great committee to work on, and uh, with your leadership, uh, I look forward to good things happening. And with your permission, Mr. Vice Chairman, what we talked about is allowing each of our guests to have an opportunity to make their statements because we know we're going to a series of votes. Once we get a, uh, a quorum here today, we'll interrupt the testimony to have the formal business meeting in the elections. M Mr. Chairman, if I could just say yes. congratulations Senator, to you, you in assuming the chairmanship of this committee. As someone who has been the uh, vice chair of the committee under Senator Kaka, myself and Senator Tester, you have worked with each of us. and. Uh, a great collaborative fashion and we all appreciate that so we wish you uh, well in taking the gavel in this committee and we'll look forward to working you, with you on the priorities that you just mentioned